trust. What is it? Why is it so essential to democratic societies and their relationships? Trust is not just an auxiliary luxury, but rather a central filament in the very fabric of nations. It must be cultivated and protected. There was this kind of heady moment at the beginning of the internet age where we thought, uh, we could do things there that we don't do in the real world and it'll be okay. We can be anonymous. We can have um, open access to everything. The digital age has given birth to a complex new strategic medium, the digital anthropological terrain, or DAT, where societal and institutional trust are the prime targets of both domestic and foreign digital disruptors. And any tool that's there, like any tool in the US um, or Australia or in our physical world, can be used for good or for evil. You know, a hammer can build a house or it can break a skull. And it depends on who's wielding it and what their intent is. In this new terrain, enhanced offensive weaponry is deployed against democracies, whilst adversaries utilize defensive tools that close their societies to the disruptive effects of technological change. These digital technologies are unique and they are, I think, radically different from something like a telegraph line or, or a railway in terms of connecting people. Trust is now a strategic resource, but digital data is not the new oil. The information supply chains that constitute this new terrain are global, unprotected and vulnerable. From submarine cable landing points to local cellular networks, they are diverse and exploitable. The risk to democratic societies is high, not just from social disruption, but also from new forms of power hierarchies and responses that erode liberties and risk creating our own surveillance states. New analytical frameworks and strategies for situational awareness are necessary to ensure that in adjusting to this new terrain, and in seeking to take advantage of the many benefits offered by digital technologies, that we do not undermine the very values so essential to a democratic order. The geospatial domain continues to grow in strategic inertia with its data-rich environment. Internet gateways consisting of complex public and private networks of networks. Regional telecommunications infrastructure are now almost entirely digital. Privately administered cellular networks now underpin essential societal infrastructure. And the human computer interface, the last six inches between you and the new digital anthropological terrain. The complexities of this new terrain must be disaggregated and new narratives are needed that explain in language accessible at all levels and across all our communities, the risks to societal cohesion arising from rapid technological change and the opportunities that the weakening of social bonds presents to adversaries, both domestic and foreign. The Jeff Bleich Center for the US Alliance in Digital Technology, Security and Governance has a central mission, to reinforce the US-Australia Alliance by addressing these digital challenges that confront our two societies and our alliance relationship. To foster a new field of digital anthropology in the pursuit of effective social cybersecurity and democratic resilience. <laughs>